Okay, so you followed the link to the uh, uh, to the digital landing page. First thing you should do is go on up and sign in uh, or register. Since you're new, you're going to need to um, uh, register, uh, purchase, or sign up for trial access. So you put in your name and um, you put in your uh, 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 put in your Hudson Valley website so um, create uh, so And then since you don't have a registration code, you might want to do a purchase. I'm going to sign up for the 21 days of free, free access. And with that in place, okay. We're going to confirm our email account is, I believe it was student. I should have paid closer attention when I was creating this. And of course, you've read that. I strongly encourage you to uh, um, just pick this out, and you're going to sign up for New York. And the school is Hudson Valley. And then we continue. Now, since we're in there, um, the important thing is, is, of course, I didn't need to make a training video for you to um, You want to, this is the reason I made the training video so that you would add yourself to a student set. See, if you work in, if you work in inquisitive and you don't do this, then I won't see any of your work. So you've got to sign up for the student set. And the, the ID that I sent you in this video was 221855. That right there is the student set that I'm looking for. And that's why I gave that to you. That's very important. Um, and since that is so key, I'm going to make a quick little, uh, uh, that's important that you sign up for it. Don't, don't try to do that without it. And now that you're in, then they're going to ask for your HO number. My HO number might be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, whatever your number is. Uh, it put put it in and that way I can track you and your grades back to um, what you're doing in Inquisitive. It's just a fail safe to make sure that it's in there. If they don't ask you for your HO number then you're not in the right student set. Very good. And then you're successful when it tells you that you're in microeconomic spring 2020. Hope this helped. Um, at this point once you're in then when you click on Inquisitive, you're going to actually see the assignments. There's a training video right there. You're going to get points for that. And, and you'll click on that, how to use Inquisitive, and it opens it right up there. It's always going to ask you this if you've done trial access, if you want to keep using trial access. It's one of the costs of getting it for free. And, um, the, um, and you can watch a quick start video or you can start answering questions right after that. Now if you uh, were noticing that we're gonna have to get at least 800 points in order to uh, do this, we also have to answer some minimum number, at least 10 questions. So on this first question right here, I have an option. I can either gain or lose 20 points, 40, 60, 80, or 100 points if I really think I know it. Let's see if we uh, can uh, score or lose 60 points right here. Now, considering uh, one strategy is that it never goes negative, it makes sense on the very first question, we might as well go for 100. If we miss it, we don't actually go negative, and if we gain, we gain 100 points, which would be nice. Okay, 
You score points in Inquisitive by answering. And then what um, we have to do is find these five answers, click into these four boxes. So one of them is not the right one. So we must be answering questions. All right. You determine how many points you can gain or lose on each question by using the question confidence slider. You must answer a minimum number of questions to get a grade on the activity. And to get a perfect grade on the activity, you must reach a designated maximum or target score. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. Question help challenge. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Yeah. We're going to just say it's a, a target score that we're trying to get. You don't have to get the maximum. You just have to get it. Now, here's the thing. If I hadn't gotten all four of them right, then the question's wrong. You got to, on, on multi-part questions, you got to answer them all back. You have to answer them all com completely right or it's, it's wrong. But you'll have another chance at it if you do get it wrong. Then, once you are uh, answered the question correctly, then you go to the next question. Now, in this one, this is a different type of a question. Find the question confidence slider to the right if you're on a computer. Try sliding the ball to adjust your confidence level. Using the keys below on your keyboard, type out the name of the lowest confidence level. So the highest confidence level is called, I know it, I know it. I'm pretty sure. I think I know it. I might know it. Or I have no idea. I have <laughs> no. And I think you'll just have fun with this. The um, and once you have it properly filled out, then you get uh, a feedback. And unfortunately, I only got 20 points for that because I had the confidence slider all the way down. Got 100 questions on the last one, 20 points on this one. And so um, let's go to the next question. What's the highest confidence level? Oh, yeah. Well, that's one I'm going to be sure to get it because I know it. I know it. And I hope that you guys have fun with it. And, that, and that's good. Now, as you've seen, you can adjust your confidence level on each question by using the question's confidence slider. What happens when you increase the confidence level for a question? When you answer the question correctly on the first try, the number of points you'll, it increases the number of points. Yep. When you answer incorrectly while attempting the question, it also increases the number of points you'll lose. See, by putting it up to I know it, I know it, you're going to increase the benefits but also increase the penalty see and obviously a failure to read that question carefully most people would put an increase and then just automatically do decrease because they think every answer would be answered but that's not the that's not it you want to be a critical uh, attentive reader and 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 thinker uh, if you make it to a level then you you lock in your points which is very good Which devices can you wear, use uh, for Inquisitive? Can you use a tablet? Yes. Can you use a smartphone? Yes. Can you use a T83 calculator? No. Can you use a computer? Yes, you can. I'm using one right now. So, now I've got five questions in a row, and it's you're giving me all sorts of nice feedback. Now, sometimes you guess incorrectly, and there's like no way you can answer this question correctly. So here's a math question for you. Suppose you set your confidence level at, I think I know it, and which means you're initially risking, oop, I think I know it is 60 points. So that's a little bit different here, but you guess wrong on the first attempt. How many second chance points will you be able to earn back? Oh, I think. So half of those points. Now here's the tricky thing. The, since the 80 point question is I'm pretty sure and I think I know it is the 60 point one the answer to this question on the second chance points is going to be half again so when I get another question try at this I'm going to get half of whatever it's worth but is the answer 40 because they think that 
it's worth 80 or is it 30 because 30 is half of that I'm gonna go with 40 and think that they just wrote that that way let's go all right so they they didn't uh, coincide that but we did get it all right now next question find Quizmo the inquisitive alien that's that little guy right here that's Quizmo and Quizmo is thinking of an African animal common name guess the animal so it's an impossible question that we're slipping in here what animal is Quizmo thinking of and uh, it could be a lion so let's put this up to eight points and we say we think he's thinking about a lion oh, I was wrong so the L is not the answer were you thinking of an elephant no I was thinking of a lion but let's try again okay so let's try again and this time we're gonna still put it at uh, 40 points I'm pretty sure but it's only 40 points so I bet he's thinking about a hippopotamus Oh, well, how about that? So, next question. So I earned not back everything, but I earned back half of what I did. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get to answer questions. Suppose you're working on an activity where the target score is 1,500, and you've reached the minimum score of questions. So you have scored a 750. Your initial grade is 50%, because I've only earned half of what I needed to do, right? But... If you keep answering questions, you eventually reach the 1,500 points and your grade will improve to 100% no matter how many questions it takes to get there. I think that's useful for you to know, um, right? If you answer the minimum number of questions, which I had to answer at least 10 questions correctly, and then I can keep on answering more questions until I get to uh, 100%. But right now, even though I've answered a bunch of questions correctly, I have a current grade of zero because I haven't answered enough questions yet. So let's go on to the next question. Answer two, one, three, four. Let's just go. So cannot, score cannot go back down below level three. Right now I have 533 points. So nice. Let's go back to questions. So on the way to a grade of 100% on inquisitive activity, you pass through three levels. Put the names of the three levels in order. I'm guessing it's level one. What I like about this is the way they set it up is um, allows you in this tutorial all the different types of questions you might uh, run across and gives you practice with that. So that's uh, very nice. All right, I think if we um, answer, let's go up 100%. To view your activity report, click on the activity score. And then I click on it, it shows how we're doing, how many grades we've done. the question I've answered I should click on points in the activity score in the to review the questions I've already answered I should click on points in the activity score window I guess So I got a 93. I've answered 10 questions, which is what I needed to answer correctly to get to, to complete the assignment. But because I don't have the 800 points yet, then I only got a 93. If I want to, I can answer all the questions.
I'm there and um, let's say that I uh, go back to my I, I, I'm ready to do the next chapter uh, request support click start video I'm change my sound effects and background music I think I just go back to this page right here and then I start in with the economics. So that, that tutorial is the same for all inquisitive courses, but uh, this is going to be uh, chapter one of, of this. This is why this uh, is equal to a final exam because it looks at all the chapters. And the five foundations of economics are here. I'm going to have to answer at least 15 questions. Uh, and I'm going to have to earn at least 1,100 points. When I'm ready to do that, then I just start answering questions, and I start in with, uh, with these. Uh, good luck, and I hope you enjoy this. Take care.